prevailing wage is like a minimum wage, but for specific groups of workers in specific areas. Michigan's law sets rates for government funded construction jobs. Prevailing wage here in this local area could be anywhere from 30, maybe 50 or 75 bucks an hour. So well beyond what the average person here in Michigan gets paid. Keith Ledbetter is the president and CEO of the Associated Builders and Contractors of Southeastern Michigan. They represent around 260 mostly non-union construction contractors and do not support prevailing wage law. It's clumsy, it's inconvenient, uh, it pays on a pay scale that doesn't really make sense for a lot of contractors. This is really not worth the effort. Supporters of prevailing wage say it benefits workers and allows contractors to win jobs based on their work, not on how cheaply they could pay their workers. Ledbetter argues that prevailing wage rates can be higher than market rates and discourages non-union companies from bidding for jobs. What can taxpayers uh, expect as a result of that? They can expect the fact that the prices are going to go up for construction projects. He says if prices go up, taxpayer dollars won't go as far with construction projects like our schools and roads. Michigan first enacted prevailing wage law nearly 60 years ago, but it was repealed in 2018. In 2021, Governor Whitmer restored prevailing wage for some state-funded projects, but this new law includes local government projects as well. Ledbetter questions why prevailing wage law only impacts construction jobs. You would think that if prevailing wage was such a big deal that you would see it across multiple industries. Prevailing wage law is set to go into effect next year. Reporting for Madison Heights, Kelly Vaughn, CBS News, Detroit.